Madam Web. It is the lowest opening weekend for a Sony Marvel movie Woo! ever. There's six total. Number five was Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance. <laughs> Jerryanna in chat says, how do you like the Dune popcorn bucket? <laughs> uh, I, 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 we'll, we'll talk about it. Don't worry. Dude, it's teeth. It's, it's just so nasty. Like, yeah. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Via box office mojo, the numbers, and discussing film, here are the box office results for this weekend, this past weekend of February 18th. I don't even know. I don't even know what day 19th. it is. Really. No, but the weekend. 18th. Oh. Well, it was yesterday. Look at that. Saturday was 17th. Lock it up. Friday's 16th. Number one, <laughs> new to the box office, was mm, Bob Marley. One Love. One Love with $27.7 million, uh, bringing its domestic gross to $45.5 million, and we're going to explain that. And its worldwide gross to $74.5 million. The reason why it's higher than just its weekend total is because Bob Marley actually opened on Wednesday. Oh. So had a few extra days in there. Mm. Yeah. So not Madam Web. Nope. And uh, if you've been watching our game where we, we try and pick out what's going to be the box office each week. Yeah, weekend, we jacked it up. We are completely wrong already. But don't worry. There's this is March Madness. There's new rules. There's new rules. What? There's rules. And we get points now. Boo. I've got a whole I game. I don't like this. No, it's a whole game. We get points. Do you like this, Henry? It's going to be fun. And the, the people can play at home. Okay. Think about it. It's it's the fun. People, the people can play at home. <laughs> they can. We won't know, but they can do it. They Nothing's can. stopping them. Just like nothing stopped Madam Web at number two, new to the box office, bring in fifteen million dollars and <laughs> its uh, worldwide gross to forty nine million. It is the lowest opening weekend for a Sony Marvel movie Woo! ever. Uh, the top six non Spider Man Sony movies are what? What do you think is number one, Maggie? No, like like oh, the non Spider Man. Okay. Yes, yeah, so non Spider Man. I that. Non-Spider-Man. Non-Spider-Man. I say number one, a Venom. Venom. Okay. Any other guesses you want there in there? Uh, let's see. There's been more beers. There's six. Carnage. Let's see. There's six total, everybody. Six. I was holding up six and the camera wasn't on me. Uh, Jerry Anna in chat says, how do you like the Dune popcorn bucket? <laughs> I don't have it over here with me. I need... Uh, it creeps have Maggie me get out, it. Jerry. <laughs> I'm going to have Maggie get it so we can talk about it because it's uh, fantastic and everything I wanted it to be. I'm trying to think of... It's okay. It's there's Venom, Carnage, Morbius, Madam, Madam Web. Web. So there's two. At number six was Madam Web with $15 million. Number five was <laughs> Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance <laughs> in 2011. Oh, it's opening man. weekend. Yeah, it made less than that. Uh, it's opening weekend was $22.1 million. Sorry, I laughed really loud, guys. Uh, and its total gross was $132.6 million. Oh. Morbius coming in at the number four slot. With eighteen point eight million. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Wait, that's a horror. Um, or did you mean twenty eight? No. Nope. I think it's just out of order. Whoops. Okay. Well, hey, Morbius <laughs> and Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance. Don't worry about it. Uh, whatever number this one is, Ghost Rider from two thousand seven made fifty two million its opening weekend. Nicholas Cage. Venom. In 2018, made 80.3 million. No. And Venom Let There Be Carnage made 90 million dollars since opening weekend. <laughs> I, you know what? Maybe we need to double check these numbers. I'm starting to doubt everything. Like I'm, I'm doubting everything. Let There Be Carnage was awful. I, I asked Bing. Okay. Quit asking Bing. Listen. Because I think they have Jeeves working for them. Jeeves, you can trust Jeeves, all right? Me and Jeeves go back a long way, okay? That smug son of a... You talking about Jeeves? Yeah. Man, let me tell you. One time when I was 12, yeah, I needed help, all right? And what did my ass do? I asked Jeeves. And you know what he told me? He said, keep your lip up, buddy. Everything's going to be all right. That's, that's my whole... <laughs> Uh, Maggie showed off the Doom. All right, let's sit down. Let's sit down so we get back into the show. Uh, all right, I, we'll we'll talk about it. Don't worry. Don't you worry. That Dune bucket is here, and it's not going anywhere. All right, it's not we'll going. Set nowhere. it on fire. The Dune bucket? Yeah. No, no we're you done better with not. It. You better not. It's gone. I've decided I'm going to take can't... back to the theater for Dune and <laughs> have them fill it up. Okay. You're washing that bucket out. That's all I'm going to say, dude. It's teeth. 
it's just silicone. so nasty like yeah. it's so disgusting <laughs> uh yeah venom let there be carnage was uh the top non-spider-man sony God. movie uh it went on to make half a billion dollars so it's wonder why it's a wonder why they still make these movies but as you can tell i mean uh what was it uh, morbius <laughs> and madam webb have both both did terrible yeah so I mean, I mean, I was telling Matt, I was like, remember when we went and watched Venom, and there's like guys running down <laughs> the hallway of the theater. You remember when everyone clapped? Yeah, <laughs> like everyone clapped at the end of Venom. Nothing against Venom. I mean, it's fine. It's a fine movie. I, I talked about this last week. Like, it's a fine movie, but it, it doesn't deserve applause at the end. <laughs> Very rarely is there a movie that deserves applause. At and the also, end. I couldn't stand that fight. Couldn't tell with who's who. <laughs> What you mean the, the symbiote symbiotes? Fight. You mean you couldn't tell the black one from the dark blue one? No. Wow, Maggie, that's you just need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> it's plain as day. Let me tell you, with a backdrop of not, <laughs> it's it so easy to tell. I don't see what the problem was. And number three, dropping from the number one slot, Argyle brought in another four point seven million, yeah. bringing its domestic gross to thirty six point four million and its worldwide gross to seventy six point four million. At number four. Up from the number five slot, so actually coming on higher, is Migration with $3.7 million, bringing its domestic total to $114.8 million, and its worldwide gross to $254.8 million. Heck yeah. Sticking around. Let's go Duck like movie. It. I like it. Good job, Kamel Nanjiani. Quack, quack did, movie. You did good. I'm trying to remember what all uh, Viv's called it, if I called her Carol. The Ducks movie. The quack, Ducks. Quack, quack. Quack movie. The quack movie. Yeah. Quack attacks back, Jack. <laughs> Number five, new to the box office, The Chosen, mm. season four, episodes four through six, made $3.44 million. Yeah, I had to add in an, an extra decimal spot. Um, <laughs> four, four. <laughs> and bringing its total to $4.2 at number six, dropping from the number four slot, is Wonka. Brought in another $3.4 million. Uh, bringing its domestic gross to $209 million and worldwide gross to $604.9 million. It's insane. It's so good. Chocolate. It's great. And there's the chocolate. chocolate. But only Wonka chocolate. There's literate and illiterate. <laughs> Um, let's see where we're at. Number seven, the beekeeper <laughs> dropping from the number three slot. It's out of the top five for the first time in like seven years. Holy crap. I know, right? Um, bringing in 3.2 million, bringing its domestic total to five, or I'm sorry, 59.8 million. You mean this fucking movie's been up here for like seven weeks and it's only made 59 million? That's no. Those maths don't add no, up. No, right. it, it adds up. It's just been that slow of a damn year. <laughs> Month. Like, my God. Oh, well, yeah, it's been a slow year. Uh, let's see here. 11 or 119.8 million worldwide. At number eight, dropping from the number seven slot is anyone but you bringing in 2.4 million, making its domestic total 84.7 million and its worldwide gross to 188.9 million dollars. <laughs> Across 100 million worldwide. Somebody said, somebody posted that it's now the highest grossing uh, Shakespeare, William Shakespeare movie adaptation. What? Yeah. I it, didn't know it was based on that. I don't think it is. Like, I mean, it, it, might, it might be. So, because somebody else commented, it was like, it's like saying that The Lion King is the highest grossing animated Shakespeare <laughs> <laughs> adaptation. Uh, I mean, you know, what I mean, yeah. so like, I don't think it, I don't think it actually counts, but okay. that's what people were saying. That's what I'm, some people I'm gonna, say. I'm going to look it up real quick. At number nine, dropping from the number two slot. So from number two to number nine, Aww, Lisa Frankenstein guys. brought in two million dollars, <laughs> bringing its total to seven point six million dollars. At number ten, new to the box office, Land of the Bad, which brought in one point eight million. What's up, Maggie? It's based. It's based on our. Much what? Ado About Nothing? Yep. I don't think it is. I mean, it might be, but it's not. Loosely. It. You know what I mean? This is loosely based on it. Because I was like, the whole point, yeah, is that they hate each other, but they don't agree to help each other out. Because that's what happens in anyone but you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. No. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. I'm going to say false. False. You're, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I'm going to say. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You from Boston? You bastard. <laughs> Wait. Hey, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm confused. <laughs> Sometimes. About so many things right now. You bastard. 